Welcome, this is the Delta Math Solution Tutorial covering Vertical Adjacent Complementary Angles L1. Here we have the question. You're going to find the measurement of the missing angle for this figure. Here we see that the angle B and the 128 degrees, these two are linear pair because they form a line right here. This means that angle B plus 123 degrees has to be equal to 180 because they are linear pairs. To solve for B, we subtract 123 to both sides. And you're going to get angle B is going to be equal to 757. All right. Next, we want to talk about angle C. We know that this angle here, that is 128 degrees, is going to be congruent to angle C because they are vertical angles. So 123 degrees is going to be equal to angle C because they are vertical angles right so we use linear pair to solve for b then we saw angle c is 123 because of vertical angles here we have the values plugged in let's submit our answers and we are correct here they give you the visualization they show that the 123 degrees was vertical angles to angle c and that angle b and the 123 degrees were linear pairs and that's how we solved it good let's do a couple more here we have the angle 32 and we're asked to find the missing angument of angle c and angle b so let's look at the relationship between the angles we saw here that angle b here if you reflect angle B across here, you're going to get this angle of 32 degrees. So we would say angle B is equal to angle 32 because they are vertical angles. Okay, They are reflections from each other. They are opposite to each other. Right Now let's take a look at angle C. Angle C in relationship with the hundred with the 32 degrees here we saw that angle c and the 132 degrees they make a linear pair so angle c plus 32 is going to be equal to 180 because they are linear pairs all right we're going to subtract 32 to both sides this is going to get us our angle c is going to be equal to eight and 148 okay so let's just plug in here to see if it makes sense all right so we plug in the values here based on our work and let's double check we are correct angle b and 32 were vertical angles so they are congruent and Angle C and 32, they form a line here, so that makes a linear pair. Good. You might also see a problem like this, where it is just a right triangle. This is referred to complementary angles. So let's do this one. So we know that this is 90 degrees because of the box right here. So let's construct the equation to solve for the angle A. We know that angle A plus 40 degrees is going to be equal to 90 because here this is when they are complementary. Okay? Because they form 90 degrees. So subtract 40 to both sides. 
you get angle A is going to be equal to 50 degrees. Okay, so let's check our work here by plugging it in to see if we are correct. All right, we enter 50 degrees here. If we plug it in 50 degrees, we add it to our 40. That does make it 90 because this is complementary angles. So we should be correct here. And here we have it. We are correct. These angles are complementary, so they do add up to 90 degrees. We set up the equation, subtract 40 to both sides, and we got that angle of A equals to 50. Good.